What's going on, you guys? This is Dementia Scott back at you once again with a brand new ranking video. And today we are going to be ranking the Transformers movies directed only by Michael Bay. Before we get into today's video, if you're brand new to my channel and don't know what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about. Movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, video games, and also do Blu-ray hunting videos. If you're into all that type of stuff, you love physical media, like me, you come to the right place. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos if you like what you see. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram with the same name as usual, Dimension Scott. Okay, so with me, the Michael Bay Transformers movies have been part of my life for a very long time. These movies, whether you love them or you hate them, these movies have all had amazing characters, amazing score action, amazing CGI that still even holds up better than some of the uh, recent movies that we've gotten over the years. Because of these movies, I even used to collect a lot of Transformers as a teenager, as a kid, as well. So, I always loved the Transformers movies directed by Michael Bay. They received so much unfair criticism and overly hate backlash that people say, Oh, Michael Bay killed Transformers. He doesn't know who Transformers is. He just wants to uh, show all the explosions and I don't get it. Blah, 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 blah. But here's my thing. Say what you want about the Michael Bay Transformers movies, but I believe those movies had an incredible personality of characters. They had great action sequences. They had great CGI on the Transformers. They had they hold up even better to this day, even better than some of the uh, recent movies that we even got over the past years. And the, the the human characters, whether you love them or you hate them, they had they had purposes to be involved with the being allies with the Autobots. Battling their arch nemesis, the Decepticons, Megatron, the Fallen, even Sentinel Prime, Lockdown, um, um, Optimus Prime's creator. They all had a purpose. So, shall we begin? Last place is going to have to be Revenge of the Fallen. Now, I saw this in theaters when I was young. Uh, now that I've grown up, I did a lot of some research. And this movie came out in 2009. Unfortunately, this movie, along with other movies like X-Men, Origins, Wolverine, Fast and Furious 4, 2009 was the year they had a writer strike at the time. And unfortunately, they had to rush production and writing scripts for a lot of those movies, even such as Revenge of the Fallen. And a lot of movies were not so well received whatsoever. So Revenge of the Fallen that we got has... Still great CGI, great action. Optimus Prime is badass. Optimus Prime took on three Decepticons in this movie in a forest battle, and it still holds up, and it's still awesome. You know, despite Optimus Prime being killed off for the middle act of the movie and comes back to life by the last few minutes of this movie, he's still an amazing badass Autobot leader. He killed and brutalizedly defeated the Fallen and brutally pound Megatron. Unfortunately, this is the last movie for Megan, Megan Fox at appearing in, in any Transformers movies because you know, a bunch of stuff happened behind the scenes. Unfortunately, she was fired from Transformers 3, so we never got to see any relationship development for, for her and Sam Whitbicky. They, they, those two are still my favorite characters in these entire franchises directed by Michael Bay. So yeah, unfortunately... With writer strikes, script rushing scripts, unfortunately they didn't have enough time to do these movies before they could before they had to go on strike. But still, it's still a decent enough continuation from the first one with with great CGI, great action, and some of your favorite characters returning from the first film. And it has incredible score music by Linkin Park. May May one of those uh, people that worked on the music rest in peace. Act number four is going to be Transformers The Last Night. This movie, I didn't know what to think of it at first. Because for years, people have been hating and despising Michael Bay's Transformers for so many unfair reasons. But looking back on Transformers a couple of times now at this age, I've totally changed. And it has my favorite 
CGI look, graphics, visuals of, of, of any Transformers movie, in my opinion. Even better than Rise of the Beast. Optimus Prime, he's still a badass leader, despite not in the film very much. And he's only, he's only Nemesis Prime for a, a short amount of time. But when he is on screen, he is still that awesome, amazing leader of the Autobots. And to this day, um, it has some of my favorite CGI action sequences of a Transformers movie. It is probably the longest movie, but I can still enjoy for what it is. Unfortunately, this movie, it ended on a cliffhanger and we probably will never get to see what Michael Bay was teasing about uh, the biggest bad guy of Transformers, which is Unicron. At number three is going to be Transformers Age of Extinction. So after, I thought I heard after Transformers Dark of the Moon was done, Michael Bay said he was going to give up the directing duties from ever doing another Transformers movie. But uh, I think he had a change of heart. So while this movie is a sequel to Dark of the Moon, but it's also a new direction for Transformers. You have new allies that come in and you have new Autobots, you have new Decepticons. And even new villains like Lockdown and this human company who wants to destroy all the Transformers following the events of Dark of the Moon. So, Ace of Extinction has some really cool ideas of a story to take these characters following the events of Dark of the Moon. And I think Mark Wahlberg is a welcome character. I don't care what anybody says. I, I, I'm not ignored by his uh, daughter and boyfriend in this movie. And it, it, it has a fun story about the Autobots, the remaining Autobots, and some new that come in. Some have disappeared. Some were killed off. They have to go on the run from this human villain who wants to kill all the Transformers. And we finally get appearances of the Dinobots. And it is pretty good. Maybe the Hong Kong battle sequence was pretty long, though. But it was still good enough to keep me engaged. So, Asian Extinction is a pretty underrated continuation and sort of a soft reboot for the Transformers in my opinion. At second place is going to be Transformers Dark of the Moon. Sentinel Prime shockingly turned villain. He killed Ironhide and the Battle of Chicago is awesome. I remember looking online and seeing all the production and behind the scenes of them actually filming in Chicago which is my hometown. Uh, the highway sequence is awesome. Some some human characters turned villains. It's pretty shocking. And unfortunately, Megan Fox didn't return. She was replaced by another girl who did a fine job. But what I probably would have done is just, you know, let's let Sam be single and focus on saving the world with the Autobots and military base from Sentinel Prime trying to bring Cybertron into Earth's atmosphere. So yeah, Dark of the Moon is another decent sequel with shocking betrayals, great score, great action sequences in the Battle of Chicago. And this was probably going to be Michael Bay's last movie, but he had a change of heart. So Dark of the Moon is a, is a, is a pretty nice, solid conclusion to these first original three films with Sam Witwicky. Optimus Prime, the Autobots, and some characters that debuted back in the original movie. But coming in at number one is going to be the first Transformers by Michael Bay. I remember waiting in line in theaters to see this movie. And when this movie opened up, I was blown and I was amazed to see a, a giant robot Decepticon attack and kill so many soldiers at this military base. Yes, Sam Wimpy He's in high school, he's looking for a car, he's looking for a girlfriend, and he finds out that his car is an alien robot from another world. And great, great action sequences, great score by Linkin Park. When the Autobots, Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Jazz, and Ratchet, rest in peace to Jazz, because he was killed and torn apart by Megatron, is fantastic. So Transformers was always a childhood film of mine I I played the game it was funny and great times in my life as a kid and it still holds up to this day so there we have it guys what did you guys think of my Transformers ranking directed by Michael Bay let me know down below if you enjoyed this video 
Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will subscribe for more videos soon. And I will do another Transformers rankings pretty soon eventually. Not only with the Michael Bay movies, but Bumblebee, the G1 movie, and Rise of the Beasts. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Keep physical media alive. Peace out.